My name is David, and this is my aha moment. When I was a, a young person working for the environment department, right after graduate school, I uh, was in a job classification. It was called environmental scientist, I believe. And uh, those of us working at the environment found out that the people in the uh, another state agency, the state engineer that does water work as well as we did, uh, was making more. So we asked uh, to have a review of our salaries with the thought that we would get reclassified and get an upgrade in pay. At the same time, there was a union organizing drive going on in my work site, and I had uh, initially told them, like, well, you know, I have a master's degree and I'm a professional employee, and I, I don't know if a union would be the right thing for me. Uh, so I didn't join at the time. And then they finished that study, and they called, I think there was five or six of us, uh, called us in to a meeting room, and the expert gave his findings. After doing all this, we have determined that uh, you should actually be downgraded in pay. But because we're so magnanimous here at state personnel, we'll just leave your salaries where they are. And we thought, well, that's not what we thought would come out of this. I signed up for the union and I became a, an officer in my union actually and served in the union for nine years. And uh, ever since that day, I've said, you know, the people that write the rules, those are arbitrary rules. You need a union if you're ever going to really get anywhere. I thought unions were something that my grandpas did and that a professional was in a different realm. But really, if you work for a living, you need a union. And that's, that's kind of the, where it crystallized for me.